I think that uniquely to CAR T's and also some of those what we call by specific antibodies is they brought this side effect on a cytokine release syndrome. By infusing that many cells, the body reacts to that. And, and obviously those cells are making and stimulating the body to secrete what we call cytokines. And those patients would develop, the probability of developing cytokine release syndrome is somewhere above 80 to 90%. And it depends from product to product, obviously, but, but I would say 80 to 90%. But it ranges from grade one to basically grade four, where grade one could be simply fevers and grade four could be someone who would require intensive uh, care in the intensive care unit. So, so we do educate our patients. We provide them with, uh, obviously, all the scenarios possible that could happen. I would say that now that these treatments have been approved by, for more than five years, some of them, that we have also evolved in our treatment. So uh, many of the treatments that we used to be more conservative in the past, thinking that if we intervene earlier, we could affect the efficacy of the CAR-T because one of the major components of the treatment is what we call steroids. But with more research evolving, it shows that actually that's not the case. So we have become more proactive in treating them much earlier, treating them more aggressively. And in fact, some studies showing that we can even treat them prophylactically. We can prevent these side effects from, from happening or trying to, to mitigate some of the seriousness of those side effects. Certainly that education has been the main uh, aspect to actually uh, continue to succeed in this type of treatment because the patient needs to be prepared for this. They appreciate and they express their appreciation a lot. Those, those are what, what we consider uh, an important aspect of the treatment is education of the patient. There are efforts by colleagues uh, at Mayo and actually outside Mayo to try to uh, reduce or, or, or even decrease further the incidence and, and severity of those side effects.